state's office says more than 1.3 million ballots have been returned here in Colorado. That's out of more than 3.8 million registered voters in our state. And that number of ballots returned is actually down compared to the 2018 midterm elections. Now, part of that may be because Colorado has such a long and complicated ballot this year, but there's also efforts to get people to turn in their ballots at the last minute. Denver 7 political reporter Megan Lopez is joining us. And Megan, county clerks are asking people to return their ballots ASAP. Yeah, that's right. And the county clerks are saying even if you turn in your ballot tonight or first thing in the morning, that is still helpful for them. So let's take a look at those numbers. As of today, nearly 1.34 million ballots returned. As you said, that's nearly 300,000 fewer than this time in 2018. Now we're seeing pretty consistent returns here among unaffiliated voters as compared to 2018. This is the 2020 uh, general, um, but you're, what you are seeing with the unaffiliated voters and that one thing that is important to note is that there's half a million more this time around than there was last time. Democrats, they are down time, this time around by about 120,000 votes uh, from last time. And Republicans are down by about 167,000 ballots so far. I spoke with a couple of county clerks today about why that may be. First, they said that the ballot is long and complicated this year, so people could be taking more time to fill it out. Election misinformation may also be playing a role in some of these slower returns. There have been calls by some in the Republican Party for people to hold on to their ballots until the very last minute. One example in Colorado is this email from the Eagle County Republicans. The Colorado GOP is not encouraging people to turn in their ballots late. It's telling people to get their ballots in as soon as possible. It's unclear why Eagle County is telling people to wait until Election Day. But nationally, the rumor is that that gives bad actors less, less of an opportunity, I should say, to tamper with ballots. The county clerks say that's a fallacy. It goes through all of the verification steps by, by, by our bipartisan teams of election judges, no matter when it's returned to our office. In my opinion, just fear mongering. Uh, and it's just adding to people potentially not actually voting. And that's not what we want. So the only thing that this will affect when you turn in your ballots late is when we find out the results of the election, since it will delay the process with a lot of ballots coming in last minute. So if you haven't turned in your ballot yet, do it. Megan Lopez, Denver 7. Uh, done today. All right. Thank you, Megan. And tonight we are getting you ready to vote tomorrow. Polling locations, they're open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And you can either vote in person or you can drop off your mail-in ballot if you're unable to mail it back in time. As long as you're in line by 7 p.m., your vote will be counted. And to find out where you can vote in person or drop off your ballot, just count your, call your county clerk's office, I should say, or go to the site, govotecolorado.org. And, of course, one of the